What's up guys? Today we're talking about miniatures. <laughs> My house is getting quite the collection and a lot of it has come from you guys. My beautiful friend Laura from Laura's World, G's Crafty, and now I've got a new box sent to me by Ev. Thank you so much. Look how much she has personalized this. Look, she sent me a mini menorah. That is so sweet. It's gonna have to go up here. Yeah, there we go. Look at the chickens. Oh my gosh. This is not the first time that I've been in this box, but I'm just absolutely <laughs> struck by these little things. They're just so stinking cute. She sent me curtains. Look at these. With balances and all. She sent me plenty of those. And she sent me a bed. A brass bed. Mattress and even the bedding for it. And we're going to put it together because look, this bedroom is definitely missing a bed. Tuck it a little bit. Look at that. Aww. When I posted my first miniature and dollhouse video uh, several weeks ago, I had no idea what the outcome would be in terms of views and who would actually be interested in my totally quirky hobby. But oh my gosh, there's so many other quirky people out there. I cannot believe the response that I actually got from that video and how many adults are out there making miniatures and still have such an appreciation for dollhouses. Granted, uh, not too many, I think, are fooling around with the Melissa and Doug version. Uh, they probably, most people have, you know, pretty nice wooden ones and all that, but... Um, I'm loving this, um, and for me as an adult, I have a, a much greater appreciation for what goes into making miniatures because it takes a lot of patience, a steady hand, which I typically don't have, and it involves a certain amount of creativity, so I really enjoy it, and I'm glad that you guys are here along for the ride. So let's go. We need to make a few things and then we're going to get over to a miniaturist that's been doing it for a long time and she makes everything from paper, cardstock, and cardboard. So let's check that out. I am now at my desk. I'm trying to get my lighting right. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, I've got my glue stick in hand. What we're going to be doing before we go to Miss Barbara's house is I am putting together some of her demos. Uh, she prints out these great mini printables. That's her Etsy store is the, the mini printables. So she printed some out and I'm going to be assembling them. 
so that today we can take some pictures and get them up on her store. So let's go ahead and get working on these little mini books. Alright, these little guys are done. Very, very easy to put together and they are absolutely adorable. Oh, this one's my favorite. Little book of fairy tales. Look at that. Spring is on the way. And today, I brought you guys to Miss Barbara's house. so. I've got her little books and we're going to see if those are pretty decent and we're going to take a look at her minis that she makes out of paper. Alright, let's go. Okay, I am all set up to help Miss Barbara. So what you guys should know is that she's deaf. So if I'm yelling, it's so that she can hear me. But let's check out everything that she's got. This woman works on her projects every single day. I'm Barbara. I've been making miniatures since I was five years old when I used to take a paper doll and make clothes and little houses for it. And now I have an Etsy store yep. and I make things from paper. She does. From my Etsy store. So I'll let you set them up. This has to go on this yeah, light. Yeah, we need some light, don't we? Do what you want. Okay, let's see. Arrange some here. So she can take some pictures and put on her Etsy store. Let's see what You check them and see if they're any good. So she sells all of these printable files. This is her mouse house. Look how cute. It almost looks like a lantern, but it's actually a teapot. <laughs> Look. Let me turn it around so you guys can see. Look. Oh my gosh. I love the detail. Can you believe that this is made out of cardstock and cardboard and probably foam board too? Amazing. I wanted to mention that on the outside here, Barbara uses toilet paper to make this really cool looking type of stucco. 
and it absolutely works. She is amazing. Wow. She's got her dollhouse book. Sure. Tell us about your dollhouse book. I remember when you designed this one. What? I remember when you were designing that over one. Over and over. Yeah. All right, what do we have? Oh my gosh, it even has a floor. So this has furniture too. The furniture's in a box over there if you wanna get it out. Sure. This beautiful cottage. I love that because it looks kind of Tudor style to me. And I love that style house. I know where they are. Ah, oh, we found the official box of finished furniture. How sweet this furniture is. I watched her design every single thing. She designed this house over and over again until she got it right and then she was working on the furniture. This little house is probably one of my favorites. Look how adorable it is. Perfect little cottage. The furniture is just absolutely amazing. She really added detail here. Um, I can pull it up for you. Yeah, you got to tell us what it is. So make sure to check out Granny's, which is actually Barbara's, Paper Cottage Printies. And you can get some of the great things that we've seen today. Like, look, she still has her beautiful camper on there. Let's see what she's got. Here's that gorgeous house. So much fun to play with. Barbara also has a great assortment of doors and windows. This has been the latest project that I've seen her work on. Check out this castle door. Amazing. And her prices are pretty unbeatable. We are back. Barbara has posted those new printables on her Etsy site, so please go check her out. And she also has a YouTube channel, Barbara Del Duco, where she um, she shows the construction or you know how to put together some of the pieces that she that she designs. So please check her out. I know that it would mean a lot to her if she got some subscribers, but shh. 
Don't tell her I told you, okay? So we're going to work on some of my original stuff. I was looking up how to do some little um, toiletry items, like perfumes and stuff. So I found all kinds of fantastic pictures on uh, Pinterest and, you know, of course I'm looking up stuff on YouTube. And just with your beads and spacers, you can make the cutest little thing. So look, I made a perfume bottle. If you guys can see it there. See, that's the part that you would squeeze like that. Isn't it cute? It's kind of wobbly though. I, I, I was having a hard time trying to figure out exactly how to assemble this one because uh, this is a very interesting bead. What I'm going to need to do is add a little bit of glue so that I can stabilize this because what I've done is I've used a um, jewelry pin to go through the center. All right. So what I'm going to do today with you guys is we're going to make a couple extra things. We're going to make um, some little perfume bottles. So I'll show you guys what we've got and then we'll assemble them. Okay, so what I've done is I have put together some clusters of beads that I think are gonna look super, super cute as little perfume bottles. So here's an example. What I did is I just ran a pin through it so you can see what it will look like. It's just done with beads. So here's one. So today what I'm actually doing is I am going to be assembling with jewelry glue. I use Aileen's or I use E6000. Alright, well let's put some of these together, shall we? Um, I think we'll start with this one. Right here. And this is going to be the lid. So I was thinking of putting this little one, this little thing on top. Let's see if I can get it here. So this would look really cute right on top of there, like that. And then glued on. I thought that would look super cute. So we're going to do that one. I chose this music specifically because I fumble and literally glue myself to these beads during the whole process. You all have no idea how much I have edited out. This process was already going to be a comedy of errors because my glue, the part that does the, the precision, uh, the little tube part on the front, well, my cap was glued to that part. So I had to unscrew the whole thing and then try to use my glue tube like that. And as you can see, I was fumbling the whole way. Not the easiest thing to do, and once again, I was sticking myself to everything. But, there we go. Oh, you can do it, you can do it. Yes! Finally got through my finger fumbling and I glued everything together. Isn't it cute? A little vanity tray. Made out of beads and things. Just so you can see the scale. I am so pleased with how this turned out. Just, you know, beads and things that I happen to have. Who knew? That wraps up this video, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again as, you know, we do my quirkiness. And I'm so glad you all are quirky with me. All right, everyone. I'll catch you next time. Peace.